Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bushing Brain English Center. All of you mean a lot to me, so I'm ready to help you improve your English skills. Today's lesson is about expressing quantities, whole quantities and part quantities, using words like all, whole, none, most, and so many more. Tukuma tukige, ngele tufuga ukuyo nubingana, mufuga ngo vyose, vikei, vinshi, vinshi mori yivyo, vikei mori yivyo, vimwe mori yivyo, dukure shamba jamu nga whole, all, none, most, na yami na yami. I'm joking from Bujumbura English Center. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today's expression is no matter how or no matter what. No matter how or no matter what mean kwa kilanswa, kwa ketifas. Ivzio kwa la vyose, ukwa vyo imeze kose. Like for example, no matter how expensive that car is, I will buy it. Ati njia modoka ukwe vize mje kose, mzo ikura. No matter what you say, you can't convince him. At ivyo uvuga vyose, tushora kumumvisha. No matter how big it is, I'm going to carry it. Ati uko shuwa kinga na pose, ndata kugiterura. Do you think you can give examples of your own using no matter how or no matter what? Now, let's talk about words that we use to express quantities. And we start with all. All means two in French. Vyose. You say, for example, all countries have a leader. All children are here. All people are equal. All people can speak English. Do you think you can provide examples using the word all? If you think this video is helping you, you can give the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new on this channel. Ningoboni if you don't click up fasha, ufshone kuri like. Ukaribu mshasha naho ufshone kuri subscribe. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Now, the word most. Most means the majority of. La plupart de. Igishe chile ni chile nusha ni chawan. Like for example, most people have telephones. Ti, igishe chile ni chawan hu parafise ama telefon. Most people are learning English on YouTube. Ti awa nwenshi walikuba liga ichu ngeleza kuri YouTube. Most presidents wear suits. Ati awa presidenti barambara kostime. Most students like English. Awa nye shude wenshi barakundi ichu ngeleza. Those are examples including must to make the majority of. Do you think you can provide examples of your own using the word must? Another point to mention is that we use of, after, all, and most when there is a pronoun after. Like, for example, all of you, all of us, all of them. So you say, for example, all of us are Africans. All of you are my friends. All of them are ready. Atibose maritebuye. Tuko tulakoresha ijambo of after all. Kubera kuhapulichira. Pronoun ka them. Change as, change you. So you have to remember to use of after all in that context. And you could have like for example most of them. Most of us. Then she meet with you again. Most of them and then she meet with you. Most of you. When she meet with you again. Like for example, most of you aren't ready. At the when she meet with you again, he will tell you. Most of them came early. When she meet with you, why she carry? Most of us are students. At the when she meet with you again, to be a very good. I hope you understand how we use these words with of followed by a pronoun. Can you please give your own examples in the comment section? We also use the word of after most and all when we are talking about something specific. Tukosha kandi akijambo of ili maya most na all ya tuko tulavuga iki ndu kitu dienda fini iki ntuzi neza tuta tuko tulavuga mwari lufsang. Like for example, most of the pubs around here sell food. Ati, genshi mububare wudu kichi jengaha a guratanga ebifungu kwa. Habaru mububare gos. Tukotura wufuga genshi mububare buraha. It's specific. Then you say most of the pubs. 
Or you could say, most of my students speak English well. Have when you could have fuga, I want you to show the voice of the sang, you could have fuga, bench when you should have lunch. It is specific. So in this case, you have to say most of my students, especially because there is this word my, which is a possessive adjective and which makes it specific. You could say, all of our rabbits died from the disease. Ati gishwe All of your students are ready. Ati I hope you understand how we use these words. Now, let's talk about the word none. None is followed by the word of. We say none of. Like, for example, none of the rabbits survived. Ati None of, None of them came. None of them was interested. None of the employees was qualified. Not all employees were qualified. Not all employees were qualified. I hope you understand how we use these words. Now, the word hor. Hor means to. Chose to zuye. Like, for example, you didn't eat a whole chicken. The whole country is safe. At igyuku chose kirimumutekan. I was busy the whole weekend. At weekend yose nari infati yue. The whole house is on fire. At inzu yose ilikoya kumurio. I hope you understand how we use the word horror. Turakoresha all tuko turavuga even vinshi, tuko turavuga vyose. Like for example, all the students, awanye shule vos. Mungawa tukoresha horror, tuko turavuga ikin kime, kwa mfuga chuzuye chose, atana kama kavuyeko. Like for example, the whole house, the whole country. I hope you understand the difference between these two words, her and or. Now the word both. Both means the one and the other. We use it for two elements. Murimake ijam both disegura vyose mugawa kubiendu bibiri. Like for example, both students are here. Ti bajanya shure was ukwari babiri waringa ukwari babiri. Iyo baba waringa babiri tukwari ukoresha or. All the students are here. But Ariwabidi, Travuga, both students are here. I hope it's understandable. And the same as we did for all, you have to use the word of after both if a pronoun comes after. Like for example, both of you are Americans. Both of them are tired. Both of us are ready at twese tulitebuye. Mbatu kutu wakulesha akajambo of kubela kuhasha kuchila as changi them, changi you. I hope this is clear as we did for all. And then, other examples with the word both. Both countries are developed. Ativide mrugu ukwari mibiri vila tunzi. Both prisoners escaped. Both prisoners escaped. I hope this is quite understandable. Now, the word either. Either is also used for two elements. It means the one or the other. Like, for example, he's ambidextrous. He can write with either hand. You can take either a taxi or a motorbike. This one or the other one. I like either car. I hope you understand how the word either works. Now, as we did for the word 
most, for all, and for none. You can also use the word of after either. You say, for example, I like either of those pictures. I like either of those pictures. Ati nunda ya yo yo se murizo murizo photo what is it? I hope it's understandable. Either of them is interesting. Ati ya yo yo se murizo ya zibiri idi antahasa. I hope it's understandable. Now the word neither. Neither means not the one or the other. We use it for two elements. You say, for example, neither of the prisoners escaped. Neither car is expensive. Neither of those pictures is expensive. I hope it's clear here how we use the word neither. Now, you can use either and neither with of or without of. Now, when you use it without of, you have to use a singular noun after it. Like, for example, neither car is expensive. Like, for example, neither of those cars is expensive. I hope it's understandable. Another example with either. I like either car. I like either car. I like either of those cars. I hope it's understandable how you use it with of and without of. Now here is an exercise for you. Tufate kwa raba nyororo wa funzwe. Ni wabiti. Tuko makufu gako. Bose. Bare kuwe. Shatufu gado ti. Both prisoners. Were released. Dusha kukako atanu mune yari kwe muri wo. Tusha tufu gagote. Neither prisoner was released. Muge awanyoro robo babari enga. Babiri. Tuko chato fukagote. Dusha kukako. Bose vare kwe. Muge marenga babiri. Tuko fukagote. Dusha kukako. Bose atanu mune yari kwe. Tuko chato fukagote. That's an exercise for you. You can drop your comments in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much for your attention. Until next time. Bye-bye.